Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be unboxing the Tesla Model Y key fob. I have it right here with me. This was delivered to me by my girlfriend's brother because here in Australia, you cannot order this. And I checked the website and only in the American Tesla website was it available and I could not even order from the American website and have the delivery address to be Australia because even if the order goes through, after a couple of days, you will get an email saying that, hey, we cannot proceed ahead with your order and they would basically just refund your money. So what I did was I transferred the money to my girlfriend's brother back in the States, got him to order it from the American Tesla website and deliver it to his place in America and then I got him to ship it using DHL or whatever service to me here in Australia. So that is how I got this. So let's unbox this and let's pair this up with my Tesla Model Y performance. That's a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, so here we have it. Hopefully this focuses. It says Tesla and you can see here it says three because the key for the Model 3 and the Model Y are same. And yeah, it has this red accent as well all around the box. So you basically take off the seal that's here and a simple cut of the fingernail does it. Then you lift it up like this and there you have your key fob. I'm trying to monitor myself here as well. So it basically looks like a small Model 3 or Model Y. So there you go. Now let's see what else you get here. I thought you also got like a battery, but no. Nah. In the other videos that I've seen, the battery would come included, two of them, but that's something I cannot see in mine. Maybe it's already inside. Let me see if I can take it out. I open this up and the battery doesn't come included inside. So if you want the battery information, this is the battery that you need. It says battery CR2032. So I have this upstairs, so let me go get the battery and be right back. Okay, so I got the battery. It's right here. This is the battery that you need, 2032. So let's take one of these batteries out. So after a lot of struggle, I got the battery out and this is what the battery kind of looks like. So let me now put this in. The plus sign needs to be on the top apparently. Okay, the battery is in now. Let's lock it up. Cool. Okay, so the battery is in and this is now ready. So let's connect this to the car. So now to add the key, what I have to do is come to my settings here, press this and then go to the locks and then you can see the add key option there. I just click on the add key and then you can see that there's a add a phone key and then add a key fob or a key card. I want to add the key fob, which is this one right here. So let's try to add this and hopefully it should be a simple process. So to add a new key fob, it says scan your new key behind the cup holder to begin. So I'm gonna put this here. So once I do that, does anything happen? No. Let's put it again. Slide it. Cool. Now it rec recognized. I had to slide it all the way behind for it to be able to recognize it. Now it's saying tap existing key card to approve the pairing. So what I will do now is get my existing key card. So this is my existing key card and put it back in. It says key has been added. So you take it out now, it says unknown key. You can rename that to maybe 
model y key fob and do save. Maybe I'll associate with mine. So now I'm gonna leave my phone key inside and try to lock the car to see if the key fob works. So if I were to press in the middle, it actually locked the car. You heard the noise and the mirrors are folded. To unlock, I just double press. And as you can see, the mirror is unfolded. So it's unlocked. To open the frunk, all I have to do is double press the frunk on the fob right here. It might not be very visible, but let me try it. Double press. And as you saw, that just opened up. The only downside is you can't close it by clicking on the fob again. You would have to manually close your frunk. I don't want to open the back with the key because I don't have that much space on the back here. But if I double press on the back of the fob here, here, this should open up the trunk as well. But because I don't have a lot of space, I don't want to do that. But now the key fob actually works. So that's good. But in all honesty, you don't really need the fob. I just got it because it looks kind of nice and it's like a mini Tesla. This is in the shape of Model 3. I believe that if you get a Model S or a Model X, you get it in the shape of that car. But for the Model Y, you get the Model 3 anyways. And even as I showed you before in the packaging, for the Model Y, it comes written Model 3. So that's been it. I just wanted to do the setup of the Model Y key fob in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.